Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video I am going to be reviewing the camera on Huawei P10. So as you guys know that we have got uh, dual cameras on this device as well. So we have got a 12 megapixel color camera on this device that also has optical image stabilization and then we have 20 megapixel monochrome camera as well. Now both of these cameras have f2.2 aperture so that's not really um, too wide or not really good for um, photography in the dark or at night time. We have also got um, a Leica camera at the front so this is an 8 megapixel camera at the front and it has been endowed with some powers as well. So with this device P10 Huawei is uh, putting a lot of focus on cameras and there are you know so many features of these cameras that we need to go into the camera app first so that I can show you some of these features so that you can understand the results of the camera better and uh, you can see uh, how the results were produced. So here we have got a couple of modes here that can take different types of photos. First thing we have here is this wide aperture mode. So what it does is that it can take really um, you know cool photos with depth of field effects and you can really produce those bookie effects with blurred backgrounds in your photos and make the subject pop out and really make that DSLR effect in your photos. And the next thing we have here is called portrait mode. Now this mode is basically targeted towards taking photos of people or taking selfies. So what this mode does is that it produces really bright and saturated photos and you know it really makes the photos look great and what it also does is that it also adds this you know wide aperture effects to the photos so it produces really uh, blurred backgrounds and give them this false bokeh effect that looks really cool in the photos as well and then we have some uh, beautifying features here as well so it clears out the screen if you are taking a selfie sometimes i even prefer to take photos with this mode turned on by default you know because it just produces great results then you have option to take photos with standard colors vivid colors and smooth colors now we also have this uh, portrait mode in the selfie camera as well so you can produce those really great artistic effects in selfie mode as well and there is this one thing about the selfie camera that i really like and that is its auto adjustment while taking a selfie so for example if you're taking a selfie of yourself it takes a standard photo of yourself but as you include more people in a selfie so for example if your friends come along and they want to take a selfie with you what this camera does is that it auto adjusts and kind of zooms out to adjust all those people in the camera and takes this wide angle photo that includes all the people in the selfie and it does all that automatically you don't have to stretch your hand out to include all those people in and this is something i really enjoyed and it works you know all the time although while taking a selfie i would recommend turning off the portrait mode because um, especially if you're taking a group fee or you know group photo in a selfie uh, because what that does is that um, it has a tendency to blur out the people in the photo so it will focus on one or two people and their face will be clear but the rest of the people will be blurred out so i would recommend you turn off this portrait mode if you're taking a group fee or a selfie with a lot of people we also have a monochrome mode here so since this uh, device has a 20 megapixel monochrome camera you can go to the monochrome mode and take the black and white photos by default from this monochrome camera and again we have a portrait mode here so you can take those uh, really cool artistic effect photos in black and white and then you can also uh, produce those book effects and wide aperture uh, mode in the monochrome camera as well so you can do both of these uh, features and make use of these functions in the monochrome mode as well and can take really great black and white photos as well with this camera so it has got a lot of features we have got a lot of modes here we've got photo monochrome video hdr panorama night shot light painting time lapse slow mo watermark audio note document scan and you can even go for more modes and if i swipe in from the right again we have got all the standard huawei features here we have got resolution gps tag assistive grid audio control touch to capture smile capture object tracking touch and hold shutter buttons so lots and lots of customizations here uh, you know there is a lot you can do with this camera image adjustment so you can adjust the brightness saturation and contrast 
on this camera app and take really customized photos. Now, one thing that you might have noticed is missing pro photo and pro video mode. Worry not, both of the features are here. So all you have to do is simply swipe up like this and you enter the portrait mode so you can control white balance, focus, shutter speed, ISO, metering and stuff like that. Now if you want to go to the pro video mode, you will have to switch to the video first and then you can you know, swipe up from the bottom and you will go into the pro video mode. Now I have talked a lot about the camera app and all the features of this camera app and this device. It's time to show you some of the samples. So I've got a lot of samples here for you guys. So sit back, relax and watch these samples and watch how this portrait mode and this wider portion mode produces amazing results uh, from the camera of this device and I'll see you after that. So guys as you have seen that this uh, device can really produce some of the amazing results when it comes to the camera performance and can take beautiful photos even in monochrome mode and um, with color camera as well. So I would say that you know this Huawei device Huawei P10 has one of the best Huawei cameras ever. If you are really looking to buy a device with a great camera you cannot go wrong with this device. It has got a great selfie camera, it has got a great back camera, rear camera and there are tons of features you can produce bokeh effects you can produce artistic effects all by default from within the camera app you don't even have to download a third party app so definitely go for this device if you are someone who takes a lot of photos use a lot of instagram or snapchat or you know put a lot of photos on social media in general uh, you cannot go wrong with this device and that's about it from this video guys i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye